Hey guys, I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on how you can save energy with your water heater. Um, this is a, uh, I think it's a 38 gallon electric water heater. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how you can adjust the temperature and uh, reduce your standby uh, heating losses. First thing you always have to do is turn off the breaker to the water heater. I have this little sticky here to remind me to turn it off uh, when I go on a vacation so I'm not burning electricity when I'm not using it. So the reason I'm doing this is uh, first of all to save energy but also uh, the water is just really hot coming out of the tap. I just moved here a few days ago and uh, I'd have to say it's it's got to be at least 130 degrees. So if we look at right in here we can see right where the uh, the white arrow is pointing. I believe that's right. That's 150 degrees. 150 degrees up here. 125 down here. So it looks like we're at about 140. There we go. You can see that better. Yeah. So I think this one is about the same. So what I'm going to do is just use my uh, flathead screwdriver bit and I think I'm just going to turn it down to about 120, let's see, that's about right, oh, maybe a little higher. Um, this one down here, I'm, I'm just going to turn this one down as low as possible. I take pretty short showers. So I don't need uh, that much hot water. I spend about 10 minutes in the shower and, and my girlfriend takes showers as well, uh, but we don't take them at the same time or next to each other. So uh, we stagger them. So this should be plenty of hot water. Um, yep, so let's see how that works. So I'm almost done screwing these, uh, <clears throat> these panels back on. Uh, the reason I don't turn it down below 120 is just uh, to keep the, the water sanitary. I know that there's some kind of bacteria that can grow in water heaters if it's below 120. So keep the top at 120. This down here is just whatever it is, 90 degrees. Uh, so that way everything flows from bottom to top. So that should keep everything pretty uh, sanitary. And 120 degrees is a pretty reasonable temperature and uh, I should just need to run the hot water uh, faucet. I shouldn't have to mix it with any cold water. So, and just lowering the, the water temperature is also gonna reduce the, uh, the heat loss in the pipes because you're, instead of having 140 degree water running through the pipes, you just have 120 degrees. So that, that's gonna save some energy as well. So if you uh, got some information out of this video or found it mildly amusing, uh, like and subscribe, thank you.